What is up guys? Welcome to a quick little video I thought I would do over how to get a keyboard on screen. So if you watched my last CSGO video, you might have noticed that there is a keyboard up in the, uh, the right hand side. I thought I would go into how to set that up. So um, if you're new to OBS, I'll leave a link down below. I have tutorials on how to use the program, but basically what we're going to do is use it as a game capture device rather than you know live streaming software, which it is. Uh, probably known for the most um, but what we're gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and add a scene here so this will just be tutorial um, and we're gonna go ahead and add obviously our game capture so we'll just call this one CSGO and add that and then we're gonna add a window capture called no board can never spell whenever it comes time to <laughs> do these tutorials. Anyway, no board is free online as is OBS if you didn't know, but uh, just go to the SourceForge link. Of course, down below will be a link to that and go ahead and open it up wherever you saved it. So no board, as you can see right here is basically a keyboard and mouse software that picks up whatever you're doing. You can see me moving around my, my mouse in the game and it will pick up whatever movements you do or whatever input commands you do. Um, all you have to do is right click and hit settings. This is the one I use, just uh, select the category games. You can use like a full keyboard and then use like a US keyboard. So that would be this one right here. But again, depending on what you're doing, this will be uh, where you choose it. So FPS with mouse is the one I'm going to choose right here. So that's all we need to do as far as no board is uh, concerned when in the window capture we're going to go ahead and uh, select that so all you have to do is do that and hit ok uh, one other thing we're going to do as you can tell when we're going to settings i changed the color to be green um, basically we're making the background of the um, the keyboard at, act like a green screen basically so all we have to do, um, like I showed you, is go into the settings and change that. And over here, we'll right click and go to properties. And um, we're gonna select the inner window and just make sure everything is selected. Sometimes OBS can be a little funky, so I just select all the options here. We're gonna use a color key and just hit select here and grab that color over on the no board and hit okay. And we'll go ahead and preview the stream. So um, what you'll do here is just edit scene and move your keyboard wherever you would like it. And there you go, boom, all ready and snappy. That's really the easiest way to set up um, something like this. Uh, and, and it doesn't require two monitors as a lot of things do um, in OBS. You know, if you use like a window capture or monitor capture, um, you have to actually like select a, a region like this. Again, I go into this in my tutorials, but luckily since no board opens up in its own specific window, we can capture just the window itself. And here we have it right here on the screen. Uh, it's really pretty. It works really well. So uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. As far as I know, OBS is really the only program to record with this. Uh, it works great for live streams. Uh, I think this is really one of the best tools, you know, uh, as far as showing what you're doing and just pop that up right there and you'll be good to go. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, leave your comments and suggestions down below and I will talk to you later.